So we've seen that if the weight is the only force to do work on an object, then we have the conservation of mechanical energy. If that is not the case, then mechanical energy will not be conserved. And that will happen when you've got something like uh, friction or air resistance in the mix. Okay? And we refer to those forces as dissipative forces. So they result in the loss of mechanical energy. So in the case of friction or air resistance, the work done against them is lost, okay, and cannot be recovered. So in losing that energy, okay, that work done is converted into energy, and it is lost as heat or sound. Okay, um, whereas uh, for conservative forces, then we're talking about an energy that can be recovered. So what I want you to think about is a cyclist um, cycling up a hill. Okay, um, and if we considered the um, the work the cyclist does against gravity. Okay, then as they are climbing up the hill, because they're going further up the hill, they gain uh, potential energy, gravitational potential energy. And that energy can then be recovered. So the work that they do against gravity, the energy they put into that, can then be recovered later on when the cyclist then goes downhill and it gets recovered as kinetic energy. So the work um, done by uh, or against the force of gravity is a conservative force. Uh, another example would be the tension in an elastic string. That is also a conservative force. So when we talk about dissipative forces, as I said, think about friction and air resistance. Okay. Um, and for conservative forces, think about uh, the force of gravity.